Uh, Curry, congratulations on the series. Oh, thank you, Manny. Great to chat with you. Tell us a little bit about your character, Ruby, because it's, it's one of the characters we're going to get to know very, very well. Yes. So Ruby is... I'll tell you, I'll, I'll describe Ruby the way Ruby was described to me, and I think that that is... It's the jumping off point of, of who she is. So Ruby was described as... Ruby is to sugar what M is to James Bond. And I think that when you understand that, you, you see where the character starts, but also you understand that there is so much room for development in terms of their relationship. You know, it, you see constant power dynamics shifting. You see that there are times where Ruby is sort of the handler, the parent, but then she's also the friend. Their relationship is both personal and feels deeply personal at times, but also obviously professional. It's it's a very complex character to to watch just because it it is a detective drama. So you also never know you know what people are maybe doing that's a little underhanded or maybe you're just overthinking things. And so so it's nice to see her in those different roles. Uh, what inspired you for your role? Did you look into other roles like you're you're saying that you've seen in the past? Well, what inspired me was I think you can take in something like Sugar, which is so stylized, it has such a unique voice you have to draw from what has inspired the show. And there is so much, you know, this is a neo-noir in every sense of it. It's, there are classic noir tropes and archetypes. And, you know, you have the voiceover and the, you know, the, the whole thing is set in LA and there's classic cinema. But at the same time, it's super contemporary because you're seeing LA in a way that, you're seeing iconic shots of LA, but you're viewing LA in a way that we've never really seen before. You also have this, though we're, we're discussing old Hollywood, you're seeing very new Hollywood issues within threaded within the show. So for me, it felt like the best place to, to start would be going back to things like Chinatown. And I researched the genre and, and figuring out at the heart of this, of this show, I think is the message that things aren't as they seem and people aren't as they seem, which is very classic, classic noir. Like you as an audience member are going on the same journey that Sugar is going on, which is I have to figure out what is happening. And like you said, sometimes you feel like, are you overthinking things or are you completely right? But I think that's the joy of, of a show like this is that the audience also gets to be a detective. It's really one of the joys of the genre. And, and as an actress, how do you approach a script like that? Are you taking it episode by episode? Or are you consuming really the whole thing to really nuance how your character progresses? No, I had no choice but to take it episode by episode because I didn't get the whole show at once, which I actually think is such a joy as an actor. I think most of the time you want to know as much as possible, but sometimes knowing less gives you a chance to fill your character out more yourself. Like that becomes your own personal um, responsibility to, to pad your character and to give your character a life that is rich and informed by your own decisions, your own choices, rather than it being told to you by the writers or the director. Yeah, it, it's, uh, that, that must be so much fun. <laughs> uh, they didn't get to play the characters. Now you have a lot of screen time with uh, Colin Farrell as a sugar. And when we meet you, you guys already have established uh, a background foundation you guys been uh, working together for so long uh, tell me about the chemistry and also just working with him yeah so what's really interesting is that we shot the pilot um almost in 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 sequence which is very rare you often film out of sequence but my first day on set working with colin was the scene where ruby and colin first meet so in that way, my real life experiences my, was mirroring the actual experience of what you see on, on screen, except that before that we had done table reads and I had met Colin and you sort of find a way to build rapport off screen that then I hope translates on camera. So by the time we got to working together, we knew each other, we were comfortable, we had sort of discussed what the scene was, we'd met the director and I think that at a certain point, you take all of those experiences and then you just have to like let them go and see what happens on camera. Yeah, you guys are great together and uh, you are great and yourself as Ruby. Uh, congratulations on the series oh, and thank you. thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. That of means course. a lot. Of course, thank you.